the 24. <coughs> Redo it. EAFC 24 is going to be a brand new experience. This is something that we've never experienced before, and this will show us the true fruits of labor created without the likes of FIFA. Now, this new game doesn't just have additional features. This new game has Hypermotion V, the greatest thing to come to gaming when you see the shirts flail. Now, this is the first iteration of FIFA without FIFA. So we'll see how it is. So what's going to make EAFC 24 better than FIFA 23 and FIFA 22? I honestly have no idea, but we'll go over some of the key points that I'm excited for and that you should be excited for as well. I barely played FIFA 23, so this is a brand new experience for me and hopefully it is for you too. But one thing we need to talk about are play styles and this is something that we have seen in the latest iteration of FIFA, but it's something that I'm starting to love and hate at the the same exact time now think about this you see a full team full of legends ones to watch cards team of the week cards and you're like wow that team is nowhere good enough i need a harder opponent to face henceforth bring on these play styles the really good players will have these play styles that are called play styles plus and basically if you're like ronaldo you'll get like a power header or if you're mbappe you'll get some type of dribbling boost you can get all these different types of increases that will just make the overpowered players even more overpowered so if you thought those legend teams weren't good enough don't worry this is for you now all jokes aside i actually do love this system as it can make it so i can kind of create my team how i want so if i want to be really powerful in corners i'm gonna get a full team of goaded headers of the ball and i'm not losing all right peter crouch up top See ya. Now, this next point is one of the biggest things coming to EAFC 24, just because we've never really seen this before. These are called evolutions. And basically the general idea behind this is that certain cards will be upgradable throughout the year. So it's kind of like Pokemon. You catch one, you can evolve them into something better. It might increase his weak foot by one star, might increase the skill moves by a star. You might get better shooting. You might get better defending. So basically, if you really like a player, you can kind of build them up and kind of hype them up along the year. Now, in order to rank up or evolve these different players, you're going to have different challenges. So that can come in the form of getting 20 passes completed, scoring three goals, or just different types of challenges that they will give you as the player. Now, this adds a whole new layer to designing your team, to making the best fit go into each different spot. I'm really excited for this because this is just allowing me to add depth to my team and just play how I want to play with the players that I want to play with. Now, one of the actual major things coming to EAFC 24 is women. You can actually play with women on your ultimate team now. Now, I don't know how this is going to work because none of the women are going to be in the same leagues. So they're all just going to be like, you have to link them with nationalities. But honestly, I'm thinking there's going to be some crazy super subs with the women. I'm telling you, if you have a full team of men and then you have like all women super subs, it can get chaotic because some of the women's cards look busted. It's actually insane. So I think adding women to ultimate team just gives us so many new options and choosing so many new players i'll be honest i don't really know a lot of women's soccer players i don't i have no idea they need the bag too you know what i'm saying but hopefully they have some fire cards that i can use as some super subs but now for the realm of pack opening something that i'm really excited about basically like when you had a walkout in the old fifas imagine you got a team of the week card right and then you got messy right the team of the week card is going to come out on top but now we can have two walkouts so if we get two really good players in the pack you'll see both of them diverging into one pause and then they can do what they got to do dribble do their little tiki you know what i'm saying but that's just a cool element so if you want to see me spend some money on packs don't because i won't okay i'm not going broke this year i'm not I'm saving money and now the biggest news actually in all of fifa maybe in fifa history we are getting one confirmed team of the week player that's literally going to be the greatest card of all time and if you can't guess it yet this player comes in the form of Harry Maguire. <laughs> I can feel something so far away. I really gotta say I'm strong enough. No, 